So I've been playing Ultra Kill. Really fun game. I love it. It's been a few updates since I've talked about it at all on this channel. With the Weight of the World update and also some of the Act 2 missions dropping a while ago, I figured it'd be cool to uh, do, a, do a little spotlight on Ultra Kill once again because it's just so fun. But I especially want to talk about the fishing level. Now, if you don't know by this point, all the secret levels in Ultra Kill shift between different genres. You have a dating sim, a puzzle game, a horror game. There's like a whole bunch of different stuff in the secret levels. And in the recent update, they actually added fishing. Um, I'm a fishing minigame uh, aficionado myself, so that would be great to uh, take a deep dive into it. <laughs> a deep dive, because it's like... You arrive on an island with a pole in hand and a goal to catch all the fish. And, you know, the secret levels are not that in-depth, it's just a short and sweet experience. You can fish, you can catch fish, you can cook the fish, and it's mostly just like a puzzle game to try to figure out how to get the different fish. But there are some neat things in this level that I thought were pretty funny. There's this scary ass, um, hell door. Of course, in Ultra fashion, with this giant eyeball staring at you. That's kind of cool. There's also this thing that claims to be a frog. Uh, it's kind of scary. I don't like him. Uh, I could do without this guy. Funny, stupid fish, though. Now, now I love this guy. Look at his, look at his dumb little face. Ah, he's my friend. One thing you'll notice is that all the fish you catch are the size of one. No matter how many fish you catch, you could sit there for hours, you will always just catch a size 1 fish. But if you explore a secret hidden area, you can find out that whoever was here before you started drawing up a bit of a conspiracy surrounding the size of fish. You also find a message in the bottle hinting towards some kind of greater salvation saying that if you follow the Big Dipper, you can make it to size 2 island, or whatever the fuck it said, I forget. But unfortunately, if you try to escape the island, you actually just Pac-Man your way to the other side, and you can only exit through the tunnel. The vibes here are chill, it's, it's very relaxed, I love the background, the ambient music. It's a very nice aside to the very hectic ultra kill gameplay I mean, this is fucking hilarious that they added a fishing level anyways when you finish it goes to night and you can actually see the big dipper in the sky but it doesn't actually lead anywhere which is a bit unfortunate if every secret level in this game from here on forward was a fishing level i would be ecstatic but other than the funny secret level that i was pretty the fuck how did you huh my cat just opened my door how did how but other than the secret level that I was excited for, I also did a playthrough of the game on Violent, which is the hardest difficulty there is right now, and I've been having a lot of fun just learning new movement mechanics, new tech you can do, and getting better at the game because the skill ceiling is fucking high. You know, I've been practicing my movement, I've been practicing my aim, I, I want to play more of this game, and especially get P ranks on all the levels, which would allow me to play the other part of this update, which is uh, the P2 boss, but you have to get the highest rank on all the levels to even access those like raid bosses, so maybe I'll come back and do a video on that eventually when I get there. The build-up to the Leviathan boss was incredible. I love how the River of Sticks has turned into an ocean. I think that's really sick thematically. The Act 2 missions are pretty sick. I love the Hellblood aesthetic, and the fight against Gabriel is just really fucking cool especially the lore they added at the ooh 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 also got a shout out the recent rocket launcher edition with the cannonball variant i mean that's just sick i also seen that you can fortnite rocket ride with the rocket launcher so that's also pretty funny <laughs> yeah that's ultra kill that's my that's my personal diary of my ultra kill experience it's still in early access we're still we're still riding the update waves short little short little cute video uh have a have a good day bye